Many healthcare professionals, for the first time, are faced with providing care for older adults with intellectual disability as they move into community settings from residential care. Aging is one of society's uh, major success stories, uh, I think, and for people with intellectual disability, this is absolutely the case. This is the first time in history we ever had an older population of people with intellectual disability live to old age. Within the, the field of intellectual disability, the landscape of, of service provision is changing quite dramatically. There's many policies from new directions to congregated settings report that have really impacted on service delivery. There's a growing emphasis on wellness strategies. And for people with intellectual disability to engage in, in their own personal health, um, they do need support and guidance. So this is the first course of its kind and it covers things like physical health and well-being, um, complex care realities for those who have an intellectual disability or are ageing and also quality management and leadership. The School of Nursing in Midwifery is ranked first in Ireland and 31st in the world and we draw on expertise across the faculty to deliver this course. Here at Trinity College we have been doing, I think, groundbreaking and fundamental work in the last probably 20 years in the area of ageing. We now have really good data from which to build the like of this master's programme. Founded on the unique research of IDS Tilda, this is the only course of its kind in the UK and Ireland. The IDS Tilda is really special and very exciting. It's at the cutting edge of longitudinal studies um, in ageing. It is the first study internationally to ever include older people with an intellectual disability. From the biological markers of ageing to social participation, social connectedness, are people working? Are they retiring? Are they in day service? Are they going out during the day to into the community and using community services? As well as health service utilisation, how do people with ID actually engage with primary care providers? And, and what can you do to support a person with ID in order to access the services and supports that they need. The IDS tilde will definitely benefit my career. Even being part of that study is a huge achievement and the experience that I gained in it and the people I've met along the way. I am very happy in a Trinity College on our friends and the people learn look after you better. <laughs> this course adopts a blended approach with flexible models of online and face-to-face -face learning. We have designed it to cater for busy professionals, new students or former graduates coming back into education. We will have a very vibrant community of interdisciplinary professionals and they can pick from a variety of different type of modules to build a programme that will best fit their learning needs. I work in a community house for people with intellectual disabilities and dementia. Working and studying full time, the online aspect of the course really helps. It gives you a lot of flexibility. Students can undertake this course as a postgraduate certificate which is online or they can advance to a postgraduate diploma or master's. This course really offers people the opportunity to broaden their own knowledge and really at the end of the day it will contribute to improving the lives of people with intellectual disability as they grow older. Be at the forefront of advanced education and research in ageing and intellectual disability. Visit tcd.ie